Now for this next part, we're told that y equals 2x plus k is a tangent also to the circle C, where k doesn't equal 1. And we've got to find that value of k. Well, clearly it's not this tangent, because that will be when k equals 1. But because it has the same form as this line here, it's got the same gradient. It must be a parallel line to the line L. So if I was to sketch that on, it's got to be this line here. And if I call this point here, where it touches the circle, let's say P dash, then all I need to do is establish the coordinates of P dash. So then I could just substitute my value for my x coordinate and y coordinate into here and I should be able to work out what k is. But it does rely on us getting the coordinates of p dash. But that's very easy because the displacement from p to a has to be exactly the same as the displacement from a to p dash because it's the radius of the circle and p dash lies along that diameter from p through a to p dash. Okay, so what is that displacement from p to a? Well, we can put that in just, we'll move over here, okay? We can put that in as p to a, okay, we'll have it as a vector. Going from p to a, we move from three units here to seven units there. That's a distance, or distance, yes, a distance of four units across. So that's going to be a vector there of four units. And then we move from seven down to the five here. Seven down to the five is a displacement of negative two units. Okay. So knowing that, I've just got to go from a to get to p dash, four units across, two units down. So therefore, I can see that the coordinates of p dash are going to be for the, for the x coordinate, we're going seven plus another four units, that's 11 across. And then for the y coordinate p dash, we're going from five, two units down, so it's going to be to three. Okay, so p dash has coordinates then of 11, three. And all I need to do now is just substitute this set of coordinates into this equation here. Must satisfy that equation because this point lies on it. So I'm just going to say sub in one, okay, those coordinates there. And we therefore have y, which is three, equals 2x, so that's 2 times the 11 there, that's 22, plus the constant k, okay? k therefore must be equal to 3 minus 22, that's going to be minus 19, and there you have it, okay? Our value for k.